those who are in opposition to your party. Yes, that's what I would have to explain. Under our Commonwealth Parliamentary Democracy, the opposition is recognized. Mm. We recognize the leader of the opposition in the Parliament. Uh, this is what we're going to do ourselves. Uh, but under the, uh, under the former administration, there was no formal uh, recognition mm. of the opposition leader. But now under my administration, we are embracing the Commonwealth approach to parliamentary democracy where well, recognize the leader of the opposition and is given uh, certain uh, recognition and tax uh, in, in, in Parliament. You have taken measures to investigate the very sad circumstances of violence post the election decision. How is that going to be put forward? What do you hope to hear from the panel? Well, just a day, well, the same day I came here, which was Wednesday, on Wednesday, I, I had to swear in the commission, the commission of inquiry in terms of our law, and um, after, as I have said in the beginning, we had perfectly free uh, election from violence. Uh, then all the political parties were able to go wherever they wanted to go mm. to campaign. We voted freely in Zimbabwe. Two days after the voting uh, uh, process, there was some incident, which is regrettable, where we lost six lives uh, two days after the election. So there were two choices for me. I instituted a domestic local inquiry. Yeah. I didn't feel it, it, that would be comfortable with the, both the people at home as well as the international community, regional and the continental community. Yeah. So I felt that uh, it was necessary to bring about people from outside. I have a commission of uh, four people, international uh, persons of repute. Um, four of them are from outside, mm -hmm. three are internal. And the four from one side, one is the former president of the Republic of South Africa, yeah. and one is the former uh, Commonwealth Secretary General yeah. of uh, the Commonwealth from Nigeria, uh, one is the QC, um, the Queen's Council.